All right, Troops TV presented by Barstool Sports, Everton 2, Arsenal 1. I mean, Troops, your thoughts? Firstly, RIP Marv, my brother, you get me? Thoughts with your missus, your kids, family, close ones. You get me? Sad day today. Thought Arsenal could have made it better, but it's Arsenal, in it, blood? You understand? And with them three, was it three VAR? Yeah, the two, three, three two VAR yeah, goals, three or was it two or three? I don't even remember, blood. But the amount of VAR saviors we had, Varsano, we should have learnt, but we didn't, blood. Again, we go away from home and lose. Again, blood, take the lead, and we take the lead. Luckily, you get me because we were not in that game in the first half, blood. Do you understand? Everton have lost eight games or something, or haven't won in eight. I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah, you go to that stadium. And you intensity at the highest level, blood. Highest. Yeah? You, you're you on them from minute one. You pressure them. Yeah? Because the crowd are already ready to turn. So if you put a little pressure and get the crowd unsteady, like, you get me? Start cussing off their players. Bang. You never know what's going to happen, blood. You get me? Thomas Partey, bro. I said to man against Man United, blood. This guy is soft. He's beyond soft, blood. This guy's soft like baby shit. Because baby shit is very soft, yeah? It's very soft, blood. It's not like human shit where it's hard. This is soft, yeah? You get bad up by McFred. You get bad up by Decore. You get bad up by fucking Alan. Richarlison was spinning your clock. You had no positioning, no awareness. Goals, the goals, where were you in the midfield, dog? Where are you, blood? The amount of unforced errors this brother made today, blood. Disgusting. The man we were actually worried about was the man of the match. Yeah. Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka, blood. He brought intensity to the midfield. He played like an Arsenal player. He's the only one I felt sorry for on the pitch because Ramsdale's in the goal. I feel sorry for Ramsdale every fucking game. Every game I feel sorry for this kid. Because even that shot, the 2-1, he's tipped it onto the bar. He's tipped it on uh, the 1-1, sorry. The Damari Gray. The and then, Ramsdale. where's the defence? Yeah. Why is he the only man on his toes? Why are these men flat-footed in the box? Why are you not expecting a rebound? Why are you not expecting the, full, the ball to drop? Why, why, why are these men on point? You understand? The changes he made. You got Pepe on the bench. Again, you bring on Nketiah. And then the man misses from two yards. And when he missed that, it was 1-1. So that changes everything. The crowd go quiet because the Everton fans were bouncing. They were happy. 1-1. Deservedly back in the game, you kill it then. You that kills it. Yeah? That was like the Obama Yang miss. Do you understand? And then Obama Yang comes on. Yeah? <laughs> because brother, let me tell you something now, yeah? Let me tell you something now, yeah. I there was a point, yeah, when I was like, if it drops to Abba, if it drops to Abba, we're good. Drops to Abba, we're good. Drops to Abba, we're good. It dropped to him. It, exactly how you want it to drop to him as well. Yeah? And it was just some lethargic effort, blood. The way he took on that shot was like he played the whole 90. It wasn't like he just come on. It was a lethargic, lazy effort. And he just walks off. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm going to get paid. Fuck it. Fuck you, blood. Fuck all of them. I've had enough now, Zah, blood. Yeah? I've had enough of this positive bullshit as well. This fake positivity. Stop this top four talk around me as well. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, blood. We won't even get fifth. We're seventh now, yeah? United got a new manager, yeah? Tottenham got Conte, yeah? West Ham are on smoke, yeah? Chelsea, Liverpool and City are clear of us. Where do we come? Where do we break into Europe? Let alone, fuck top four, the Europa League. We can't even get into that, rude boy. Do you understand? When are people going to be honest now and stop this whole... Oh, friendly, da 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 da. Let's all be Twitter friends and oh, friends. Be honest. This man will never be good enough to take this club forward. This man will never be the right man for the job. Never, blood. Never. I'm tired of hearing this free hit talk. Yeah? Bounce back FC. Because the free hit thing has gone now. Now it's bounce back FC. Oh, we got Southampton. We can bounce back. What if we don't bounce back, though? Do you understand? The man has his whole team now, blood. This is his team. Everyone's fit now. 
That's what they were saying back in there, isn't it? Is that no one's, I mean, the thing is lopsided. But now there's a bit of balance and there's still no balance, blood. There's still nothing going on, blood. There's still no consistency. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just the same shit. Year in, year out, blood. Year in, year out. We're the last team to play. We knew what we had to do today. We have to win. We have to win. Even after riding out our luck the way we did during the game, we still couldn't get the job done. For you, who carries more of the blame on this one? Because, I mean, yes, yes, we can go after the manager, but fucking Ketia missing from two yards out. Pe Pate who put him on every the single who put him on the Who put him on the pitch? Did the he man. get a walk on the pitch or did he get sent on the pitch? The manager. But at, okay. at, some, at some point, okay. the, pl the player has to okay. carry. It's his team, his players, his problem, not mine. All right, I'm, I'm disappointed also. Thomas Partey, I was keeping track. He only did two things right. He only completed two of his passes. Everything else was messed up. It's just fucking, this is awful. I'm out.